my fellow Americans, let me ask you, what do you want in a leader? Do you want one that refuses to admit he's made a mistake? Or do you want one that acknowledges he's made an error and corrects it? Because right now, we have the one that refuses to admit he's made a mistake. Biden, he continues to back the governor of California and his disastrous policies that have caused the backlog that we have in shipping coming to the ports there. Think about that. They refuse to admit that it was their policies that caused this. This is not something that occurred overnight. This was a change in the laws and how business is done with trucking, shipping, receiving, and offloading of these crates. There are several layers. I don't care to go into them now. Later on, if this continues and they refuse to fix the problem, I'll really harp on that, but there are several very simple solutions that could correct this problem, but they all revolve around admitting that a mistake was made. So here we are. Someone who is embarrassing themselves and our country by refusing to admit they've made a mistake. I've been in a leadership role for well over 15 years in one form or another. I've been officially the leader of many soldiers. I've been the unofficial leader of workplaces. It's what I do. I lead. And never once have I thought to attempt to cover up a mistake, or hide it, or pretend it was not made. I accept my flaws, I accept my mistakes, and I move past them, I learn from them, I get better because of them. And even at Joe Biden's level, with all of his advisors, he will continue to make mistakes, but it's rather embarrassing, I think that he refuses to admit he's made them. Now, that being said, let's talk about my Republican Party. We do need to stop pretending to be the good guys and start actually being the good guys. What I mean by this is that I would rather see the Republican Party run no one in an election than back a candidate that had some sort of, for lack of a better term, scumbag past. Now, yes, my fellow Republicans, I'm full aware that the Democrats do this quite frequently. They'll harp on us, for our party has done this quite often as well. We have to stop. We need to stop pretending to be the good guys and actually be the good guys. Don't support the corrupt. Don't sweep it under the rug. My friends in the media, you should take notes on this as well, because every time you, perhaps, I don't know, say something to the effect of, oh, they're saying, let's go Brendan. We all hear what they're really saying. You lose face, you lose credibility when you lie. So, it's quite simple. Be the good guys. Democracy dies in darkness. Does it not? And is not darkness full of lies? God bless America. I hope all of you have a wonderful night. And remember, like, subscribe my channel. And when you get those Republican ballots in the mail, fill them out, write my name at the bottom. God bless America.